So welcome to this episode of the Ninth Grade Experience Podcast. We're going to continue today with our look at different clubs and organizations here at Emmaus High School. Uh, we've had some opportunity now. We're kind of in our second month of school. We're, we're inching towards coming back here live and in person. So one of the things that makes Emmaus High School pretty unique is our wide range of clubs and activities. And today we have two seniors here to talk to us about the Economics and Investment Club, uh, one that I wasn't a whole lot aware of that we had something like this. So I'm really interested to learn about it too. So I'm joined today by Alex, Alexander Toto and Sam Comfort. Um, so thanks a lot guys for joining us and giving us a little bit of information about the Economics and Investment Club. Yeah, no problem. So one of the questions we always like to ask everyone when they first come in is what, describe your ninth grade experience. So now you are one of the, the first non-freshmen, non-adults we have ever had on the podcast while it's been going on. So I'll be interested to hear your take on what was your ninth grade experience like here at Emmaus High School. So whoever wants to go first can kind of just jump right in and tell us what it was like. I can go first. Um, obviously, like most freshmen, I was really nervous, like fitting in, making friends and like handling the increased workload. But like one main like point that I would say is always ask questions and always talk to your teachers for help because that's literally the best thing you can do if you're struggling in class. And then one thing I would suggest uh, for freshmen is to join as many clubs as you can. Um, as a freshman, I was in Red Cross, Interact, Future Business Leaders of America and Student Government. And they're all really fun, but it also helped me make new friends. And uh, it also helped me reconnect with friends that went to Lower McCundy Middle School. Cool. So that was Sam. Um, and then Alex, how about you? What was your ninth grade experience like here at Emmaus High School? Yeah, I, I agree with Sam. I was also nervous for probably the first, like a while um, in freshman year. But yeah, definitely get involved. Um, I, I mean, just because it's your freshman year, high school flies by. So I wouldn't. So definitely get involved in everything as soon as you can. Um, I wasn't involved as much actually as a freshman. I started getting involved later and it definitely is a better experience. Like the more you're involved in, um, I think it just, it gives you great experiences that you'll be able to use later on. And obviously it looks good on resumes and stuff like that. So it's just, it's a great thing to do. Just get involved in as much as you can. Okay. So we always talk to our guests. Our, our guests are always saying, get involved, get involved. So we always talk about that. So one other question for Alex, before we let him go, we were talking before we started recording and um, I recognize his last name and, and I have his sister in uh, my ninth grade science class. So Alex, what was the one piece of advice, maybe real or not real that you gave to your sister before she started at Emmaus high school to kind of uh, ease her, ease into the transition? Um, I mean, I think some people, exaggerate how like the workload between like middle school and high school like it's I mean it's still school it's still like the same thing don't get too worried about it just like work work as hard as you can um like keep your GPA up and just yeah ask questions do as well as you can in your classes and just just work hard so no no you didn't tell her that there's like fake stuff places or like not to go in certain spots of the building no uh no, no, no maybe, stories maybe if we were in person, I would have, but <laughs> that's true too. So, so, um, so let's get into talking about your club. That's the, the reason you're here, but lots of great uh, tips there about your ninth grade year. So describe to me what the economics and investment club is. It seems like it's a very unique club at the high school level. Cause you know, not a lot of people have their own money to invest and, in, you know, people are just learning the basics of economics as a, in high school, but what is your club all about? Yeah, I can answer that. Um, through the economics investment club, um, students will be able to delve into the basics of economics, investment, money management, and other uh, financial topics. Uh, members this year will also participate in like a stock portfolio management simulation and a comp competition. So you'll work with like teams and you'll just manage like fake money, but You'll be able, it's like real time with the stock market. So you'll see if, uh, gains and losses that you, uh, that you create. And then also, uh, this year that we're going to try to get some, um, some, uh, volunteers, some speakers to come in the club and just talk about their experience in like the, the business world. So that's something to look forward to as well. Do both of you guys have an, uh, an, an idea that you might want to go into business in college or, or in the future, like what you're kind of interested in? 
Yeah, right now I'm leaning towards accounting, but you know, that can always change when I go to college, but I'm focusing on business probably. Okay. And Alex, how about you? Do you have some sort of, you want to be an entrepreneur or business sense or what do you, is there a reason you're kind of involved in, in the club? Um, I'm pro- I'm actually probably not going to like study business um, in college, but I, I think that's one of the great things about the club. There's a lot of people that are and aren't going to, it's just, I think it's great like knowledge you should have. Um, whether you're going into that field or not, I think it's just always a good experience and good to know about. So I, I, I gave the guys a list of questions beforehand. This is not one of the questions. So let's see how fast they think on the fly here, but just what if, if, you know, what is one thing that you've learned from participating in the club that maybe you can carry forward with you or like something that you maybe didn't understand or, or even think about like in the, the fields of like economics and investment that you, now that you've participated a little bit, you're like, oh, that, that's kind of cool or makes some more sense or has shaped something that you're thinking about for the future. Yeah, I think one of the things I've learned is how to manage um, risk while investing because I think there's a lot of... Um, like these crazy articles you read about how people made like millions of dollars in like one month trading stocks. And I think you learn how like to realistically invest and how to probably manage your risk and not lose all your money if you're going to try <laughs> investing. Yeah, I agree with that. Like I think some people think like the stock market and just making money is super easy, but there's tons of risk with it. And I've learned like there's blue chip stocks. Those are like really like, They always do well. So if you're like just starting out, I would try to invest into a blue chip stock or just a stock that uh, continuously uh, goes up over time. So it's, you know, it's really interesting listening to you guys talk and it's like, you know, you see all this stuff on the news. You see, you know, even with things going on in, in, you know, government and politics today about economics and investment and those kinds of things. And it's really cool that in the high school level, you can kind of get to learn a little bit about that. I think that's, you know, pretty interesting what you said there. Alex about like, you know, you can't, you see these people on, you know, maybe on Instagram and they're like, Oh, I made a million dollars in a month, but that's like not the reality of the situation a lot of times with investment. So I'm sure that when kids come to that, they kind of see these and it's like, Oh, like, Oh, I only made, you know, I bought the stock and it only went up by a quarter and I only made a dollar. Like that's not the way that this is supposed to go. I'm supposed to be rich buying stocks. So I'm sure you kind of run into that a lot too. So it's, um, you know, as a ninth grader, so we focus on ninth graders here on the podcast. So as a ninth grader, I'm coming in from middle school and maybe I don't know a whole lot about investments or economics or whatever. So why should I, as a ninth grader, uh, want to be a part of the economics and investment club? Um, yeah, I mean, kind of like what I said before, whether you're planning on um, like majoring or studying business later, I think it's just, it's going to be like, you should know how to invest and manage your money no matter what you're going to do after high school. Um, And then in terms of what freshmen do, everyone pretty much does the same thing at the club. Um, We usually participate in a stock simulation. So whether you're like a beginner or you know some things, it's a great way to get some experience because it's synced with the real life stock market and you have like fake money basically and you can you buy stocks and you just, you basically can watch how the stock market works, like what makes things rise and fall and how to manage your money and your portfolio. So that's usually, I mean, it's a great way to get experience without using real money. Yeah. (laughs) A lot of money, you know, people, money that people don't really necessarily have to invest in stocks. And I wonder too, if like, you know, you hear like, oh, invest in Google, invest in Apple, but I don't even think people realize like how expensive it is to buy like one share of like a Google stock or one share of an Apple stock. Yeah. They, their companies make, it seems like trillions of dollars, but for you to be an investor in those clubs, it's not, you know, you got to have a lot of money in the game to start before you can, you know, reap the benefits of the Google stock and the Apple stock and all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, just a couple like quick questions here to tie up loose ends and, and kind of give people where they can find out all the information. Like, is there anything special that you guys are doing with like things with like the election or going forward? Like, you know, that kind of thing with like different candidates or looking at like, you know, how stocks and investments are going to be affected by some of the things going on currently in the world like have you guys met yet and kind of talked about any of that kind of stuff yeah i mean we always try and talk like tie the um 
current events to how it affects the stock market because they do always affect the stock market. Um, the election is definitely one of those. So yeah, we'll definitely talk about how it affects because it's, I mean, you only see it every once, once every four years. So it's definitely something kind of unique that we'll be able to talk about this year. That is, yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, so for our listeners and viewers out there that want to kind of, you know, maybe this has piqued their curiosity a little bit. Now, just we always have to add the disclaimer that like, just because you're going to this club doesn't mean you're going to wind up making millions of dollars and don't invest your own money if you don't have it, all those kinds of things. But um, if I'm listening to this and I'm interested about attending your meetings, like where should I go? Are there going to be virtual meetings? Like what day of the week? So give uh, people that are listening a little bit of information on how to, how to find the economics and investment club. Yeah, we'll have our, uh, we'll have a meeting on Tuesday, October twentieth, on uh, two thirty-five via Zoom, and you can join our school uh, Schoology um, group. And the code is uh, three. I meant W three R S dash three F M F dash T four M five V. And if you have any questions, you can talk contact Mr. Parrish, and also we'll have it on the announcement, so you can find the code there as well. Okay. So lots of different ways to contact and you're going to be virtual to start here. Um, even when the kids come back or if we come back in, you know, in the, in the two weeks there and do you meet every Tuesday or is it like once a, once a month, twice a month, how often will you, your group meet? Or do you not know yet? We don't really know yet. Cause we all have like really tight schedules, but right now we have a meeting on October 20th. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so we'll put this, this will be out, you know, uh, tomorrow, probably mm-hmm. Friday. So we'll give people a chance to see that beforehand. But like Sam said, check out the announcements. Um, all the stuff will be listed there, the Schoology page and then the Zoom link and all the other stuff. So guys, before we go, uh, you know, one last, if, do you have any like hot tips or like, you know, I have like a couple dollars in my pocket here itching to do something with like, what, what can I, what can I strike it rich here with in the next couple of days? I mean, honestly, investing is like a bit of a waiting game. So I don't think you can turn like a couple of dollars into a lot of money right away. So, but you know what? I say you have to be patient. You know what? That's a great answer. I'm glad you didn't give away, you know, and tell people and give them that. I know we talked a lot about being patient and that kind of stuff. So I'm glad that you stuck, you stuck to your line. You kind of didn't want to give me the real stuff, but if you maybe, I don't know, maybe they're saving the insider secrets for the club meeting. So go on the 20th, check it out. They'll tell you how to, tell you know what you got to do so uh once again thanks to sam and alex for taking some time out to talk to us about the economics and investment club and as they said the first meeting is next tuesday the 20th and they gave you all the schoology and zoom link information there so guys thanks a lot for uh talking with us today and good luck for the school year thank you for having us